Hey everybody, grab your beverage, grab your Bible. Ugh, it's weightlifting over here. Rawr, I already did my strength training at the gym though, so I'll put the Bible down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow, I'm already silly. Hopefully I can stay on track here. It's time for coffee with Brenna. I want to show you <laughs> my new mug. Hold on, I have to put my 10 pound Bible somewhere first. My sister-in-law sent me this. I've fallen and I can't reach my coffee. Can you see that? Very nice mug. You may notice my setup is different. I don't know where to put my coffee. Uh, I moved my chair. So I usually have that little sign behind me. And there's a desk right here underneath my computer. But I haven't really figured out the setup yet. I got a new desk. It's over there. I can't really show you right now. And I moved this, this thing that's underneath my computer is the, it's not really a desk. It's more like what you would see in an entryway or something. Uh, I used to have my, my keyboard on it, my, my piano, my electric piano, except it's a keyboard. It's not an electric piano. And yeah, everything is in disarray. I did, I did this a week and a half ago, but... I got it finally set up like by Monday morning, kind of. So this is Thursday that I'm recording this. And then I had a big event out of town last week and I just have not caught up. I had uh, some weeks I have two or three evening meetings. This week I had three, actually including tonight. I have four things going on. And yeah, it's just, we're still in disarray here, but I'm super excited about my new desk. I will probably record some coffee, coffees with Brenna from there once I get my setup set up. And so I'm sorry if I'm a little farther away than usual today, but maybe it's just because I have my window so small right now. But today we are talking about feeling unsettled. In fact, I'm going to call the coffee with Brenna unsettled. And I'm honestly not 100% sure what brought this to mind. It was this strange kind of stream of consciousness where this song popped into my head at the gym, a song I haven't heard in probably 20 years, but something I used to listen to early on in my Jesus days. And I started listening to the album today as I was preparing for Coffee with Brenna, and it just brought back all these memories. And I thought of all these times in my life where things felt very unsettled. And it, my brain started doing its thing. It does churning. And I started thinking about all the situations in the lives of loved ones that are unsettled. Marriages, that they're not sure if they're going to make it or not. Kids who are either in trouble or are not following Jesus. Financial situations that are tumultuous, especially right now. I was talking to a friend recently who got a new job and things should be going well financially, except gas prices have gone up so high, especially where she lives. Also grocery prices, they it basically like ate the difference that the raise was supposed to provide for, right? But this really could apply to anything. You you see that a loved one's in trouble and they keep getting in trouble and then they seem like they're doing better and they keep getting in trouble and they seem like they're doing better. I was talking with another friend recently about a mutual friend who is so sick and she has got to be the kindest, sweetest woman you have ever met. And we're both like, like, we know none of this stuff is supposed to be fair, but this really isn't fair. And maybe you have a situation like that in your life. And the scripture that popped into my head was from Philippians 1, where Paul says that he, God, who began a good work in you, will carry it to completion. And so I had to look that up. I couldn't remember off the top of my head where it was from. Funny story, I read it yesterday in the book of Philippians 1. I like the whole passage, so I'm going to read the whole passage, uh, starting in verse 3. I thank my God every time I remember you in all of my prayers for all of you. I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, 
that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. And in my, my, my lovely living Bible that I love, it says, And I am sure that God who began the good work within you will keep right on helping you grow in his grace until his task within you is finally finished on that day when Christ Jesus returns. We'll keep right on helping you grow in his grace. I needed to hear that today. I actually recorded a Coffee with Brenna back in 2020 called Thriving in the Meantime, and I will post that in the show notes. And it was after, you know, obviously COVID had been going on for a while at that point, and it was hard to know how to make plans and what to do and just so many, so many uncertain situations, so many possibilities. And some of you are still in that place. Maybe you have a situation in your life that is super discouraging and it's hard to hold on to hope that God might be doing something, but being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you, even though things might feel very unsettled right now, things might feel very frustrating, things might feel very discouraging, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. He will carry it on to completion. I definitely have some situations where I'm just like, oh God, this consumes too much of my thoughts. This takes up too much of my brain space. I have another coffee with Brenna on what's taking up your brain space. I just want to move past this. I want to see healing in this situation. I want to see you move in this situation. And this goes along with last week's Coffee with Brenna. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. It's called Spiritual Markers. How do we keep our hopes up in the times when God is silent or we don't see him moving? Again, it goes right with that, with the, the train of thought that was in that video. We believe that he who began a good work in us, that God, who began the good work within us, will keep right on helping us grow in his grace until his task within us is finally finished, which won't be till we see Jesus again, whether he comes back or we go meet him. So if you feel unsettled today, be confident of this. Be confident that he who began a good work in you, he's going to finish it. He finishes what he starts. He finishes what he starts. I'm hoping next week to do a mid-year review. I realized I never did that in 2021, but I did do one in 2020. I kept scrolling and looking, where's my mid-year review from 2021? Well, apparently I didn't do one, but I wanted to check in on my goals. I was actually going to do that today. Then I thought next week would be better because we'll actually be halfway through the year. Though I guess uh, this will, this video will come out on July 1st. But that's okay. Hopefully I will get that done because I'm actually going to be out of town. And I was actually encouraged. I needed that encouragement today that I actually have done better on my goals than I thought I had. Another thing that's encouraging about this passage is that it's God who's doing the work in us. We put so much pressure on our own shoulders. How about we surrender and let God finish what he started? God, who began the good work in us, he will carry it on to completion. So if things feel unsettled in your life right now, rest in the Lord, put your hope in him, and trust that the, the, the one who started it will finish it. Let's pray. Lord, when things feel unsettled, help us to trust you to finish what you started. Even if they felt that way for a long time and we can't see how you're working, help us to trust that you who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion. You will carry it on to completion, Lord God. You will will keep right on helping us grow in your grace until your task within us is complete, is finally finished. 
Thank you that I read this passage yesterday. My brain didn't even register it. But you knew. You knew. And my heart registered it because I was thinking about this. Thank you for your word that gives us life. Help us to hold on to your hope, not in hope that we see, but in a tr deep trust that you are able. And we pray all this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, friends. I always like to hear from you. If you have a topic you'd like me to talk about, I'd love to do that. But until next time, thanks for joining me for Coffee with Brenna.